వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఆ డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో మేము చేసేది ఈ వాటర్ సరిగా ఈయనతో ప్రాబ్లం ఉంది అసలు ఎంత మందులు వాడినా కానీ తగ్గుతలేదు అసలు లాస్ట్ కు మేము సంపాదించిన సొమ్మునంతా హాస్పిటల్లో పాలు పెట్టవలసిన పరిస్థితి అనేది అవుతున్నది దేని వల్లనే ఈ కారణంగానే దీని కారణాలు ఎవరు The world is currently terrified by parasites found in Cannes sardines. But most people are unaware of invisible and most hazardous threats such as plasmids, which can transmit the antibiotic resistance in animal, human, and environmental interface. This problem should be a global concern due to the impact that antibiotic resistance can bring. My name is Intan Karunia Mulia, the representative of Shahpal University for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2018, here presenting my analysis about antibiotic resistance control in Indonesia using the One Health approach in order to achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030. Antibiotic is a very popular bioactive substance among the society that is capable to inhibit or kill the bacterial growth. This kind of drug is often prescribed by the physicians to treat infectious disease such as diarrhea. However, although it has a lot of benefits, the global experts have put the overuse of antibiotic as the cause of antibiotic persistence. Antibiotic persistence is a condition in which the bacteria adapt with the given antibiotic, resulting reduced antibiotic effectiveness. Some bacteria do this by neutralizing the antibiotic with the modified enzymes such as ESBL and aminoglycoside modifying enzymes. Others can even pop out the antibiotic out of the cell, and some could also change its attachment site or the cell permeability so that the antibiotic don't recognize or even unable to enter the cell. This bacterial ability to change is the same if the mobile genetic elements such as transposone in the group and could be transmitted into other bacterial cells via transduction, conjugation, and transformation. Due to this bacterial ability to evolve antibiotic resistance mechanism and transmit, the antibiotic resistance will spread into human, animal, and environment, even from the food that we eat that is contaminated by antibiotic resistance in the farming area or even from the fish that gain the resistant genes in the water because of the waste runoff in the ocean. Antibiotic resistance could cause a very devastating image for the world. Directly, antibiotic resistance will cause an increased life uptake, reduced safety, contaminated environment, and higher treatment costs. Antibiotic resistance could also disrupt the national economic growth due to the reduced human quality of life. Therefore, immediate response to control the antibiotic resistance should be taken. In the last November 2016, an agreement has been made by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Health of Indonesia to control the antibiotic resistance together. Each of them has their own regulation that control antibiotic usage in Indonesia due to different source of funding, publication, and methodology. Consequently, the implementation of antibiotic resistance control in Indonesia has not been integrated as what the One Health approach should be. Therefore, there are three steps that could be done to control the antibiotic resistance in Indonesia using the One Health approach. First, by creating a coordinated interdisciplinary communication system between responsible antibiotic resistance control institutions. This collaboration should not only involve the governmental agencies, but also universities and research institutes. Second, by implementing an adequate surveillance system with optimal law enforcement. Veterinarian Feed Directive or PFP is an example of antibiotic resistance control in USA that could be adapted by Indonesia in which the distribution of animal feed should only be made by the professional's permission. 
the last step is by giving a comprehensive antibiotic resistance education for the health workers and society, including farmers. Through these steps, I believe that Indonesia can control the antibiotic resistance and the world can achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030. Antibiotic resistance is everyone's responsibility. It is mine and also yours. Let's fight back the antibiotic resistance.